So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again with some more transfer news. Uh, if you haven't checked out the last video, do go and check it out. Uh, we absolutely ripped a guy called Tom Coley to pieces who was chatting absolute garbage um, in his Football London article. All these pompous little condescending twerps need to be... Um, yeah, I won't say the rest. I'll get demonetized. <laughs> but anyway, smash the like button. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, guys. Be the bottle of water, guys. The empty bottle. Of you can do it, guys. Fill it back up, guys. It's not empty. It's not empty, guys. It's still got drips. Have hope, guys. Anyway, smash the like button. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, subscribe to me. That'd be great. Subscribe to my second channel. Me too at times two. Woohoo. Uh, I'm in the description. Lee reacts. Uh, make sure you follow the socials and drop your donations in, people. Help the channel grow. Help it grow. Throw money at me. Hey, listen, big up to all the real ones that support this channel, though, honestly, all jokes aside, everyone who does donate, I do reply back to. If you want to do that, do it. If you don't, just whack a like on the video or leave a comment. Uh, but anyway, uh, we have some more updates, more news um, on um, Mudrick. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of hearing this guy's name. I can't lie. I literally can't lie. I had a guy in my chat, in my comments, um, say to me, I can't believe you're actually an Arsenal fan. Why would you laugh if a, if a player of that quality goes to Chelsea? Why do you think that's funny? Well, hold on, mate. How many games you watched him play? How do you know he's any good? Like, I don't get it. I genuinely don't get it. But these people, they love to be right. They love to be seen as the top gooners. Oh, I'm so positive and you're so toxic. You're so toxic, I'm going to come here and tell you you're toxic whilst helping you get paid off of your toxicity that brought me here in the first place. Duh! Like Jesus Christ on a bike. Anyway, Fabrizio Romano has provided updates. Uh, as I record this, it is six o'clock in the evening. Uh, on the King's Day, it is King's Day in Spain. Friday the 6th of January is King's Day. Um, yeah, man, big up. But anyway, uh, he has provided some updates. Um, it says the agents of Mikhail Mudrik, um, speaking on Arsenal and Chelsea, this is the agent directly. Mudrik is a Shakhtar player and the decision on the transfer will be made by the board of the club. Um, Mikhail Mudrik is now preparing to go with Shakhtar to the training camp. He said that on Sports Arena. I don't know whether it's a media outlet or a radio station. I don't know. Um, there was another one that I wanted to read out as well um, from earlier in the day. Uh, do, do, do. you're going to see this at about 4.30 a.m. Spanish time. So, yeah, uh, this may have changed a lot between now and when it's dropped. Um, Fabrizio also said that Chelsea, I'm trying to find it, uh, Chelsea have had talks with um, the sporting director. I mean, he tweets a lot, doesn't he, this old fan? He tweets a hell of a lot, but they've had talks with the, uh, there he is, Right, so Dario Serna, Shakhtar director at Stamford Bridge last night. Arsenal will keep pushing for the Mudrick deal. Players preference and total um, and total priority. But Shakhtar also met with Chelsea in the last few hours. Right now, when Fabrizio did his uh, video today, obviously Friday the sixth, um, when he did that video, he said in that video, which I don't think many people have picked up on, he actually said. Mudrik's preferred destination is the Premier League. That's what he said. The Premier League. He wants to play in the Premier League. Yeah. And the thing I find funny about this is it's now gone from his preferred choice is Arsenal to his preferred choice is Premier League. And I've seen a lot of people that just want to write this off with Chelsea. Oh, they don't know what they're doing. They ain't got a plan. Well, their plan seems to be working. Even if they're not doing it deliberately, their plan seems to be a plan because they've completely nosed up our deal at the moment. So it's kind of a plan, isn't it? Their plan was, we're going to go in and talk to them. We're going to speak to the agent or the director of the club. We know what Arsenal are paying. We know what they're going to pay the player. We know how far they can go because Shakhtar have told us, Arsenal will go to X, you have to go to Y. If you go to Y, you can have the player. But the player don't want to join you. He wants to join Arsenal. But then if you get to Y, we accept it. Arsenal can't go to Y. It's making any sense. And now the player has got a choice. He either stays at Shakhtar or goes to Y. <laughs> He's going to Y. <laughs> it's like, let's be real. And people are sitting there going, yeah, but Lee, you shouldn't be so happy about it. I genuinely don't care if we sign him. 
I don't care. This is like, I'll give an example. All the people that sat there gassing up Eddie and Ketia because he scored five goals that took us from fourth to fifth. Give Eddie a new contract. Oh, it will save us a fortune. Okay, cool. Well, he scored two goals this season. Well done, mate. Well done. 100 grand a week. These people are the same people that are sitting there telling us we need Mudrick. These are the same idiots, by the way, that sat there this time last year telling us we need to get to Sam Flyovich. Flyovich, 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 Fly that's all I heard. Shut up, get in the bin. Don't want you. If the majority of our fans online want a player, I don't want them. Because this fan base are tapped. On that bombshell, let's move on. Leave your thoughts and feelings on the fan base down below. <laughs> uh, let's move on. Uh, but uh, Arsenal and Manchester United have had more talks with Atletico Madrid, uh, with George Mendes, the agent of the player, Jao Felix. Uh, the agent has flown to Madrid to speak to, uh, to speak to the ownership or the hierarchy of Atletico Madrid. Um, so basically lay the intentions on the table and say, look, Arsenal and Man United both want him, but they're not prepared to pay 18 mil. They're prepared to pay around 15 mil, 13 mil, 12 mil maybe. So he's gone there to try and negotiate that fee. Now, listen, Arsenal have made their interest clear. Arsenal have made it crystal clear they want the player. So have Manchester United. If you're now in that position and you're Joe Felix... And I know I get a lot of Man United fans watch this. I know I get a lot of Arsenal fans watch this. Um, believe it or not, Arsenal fans do watch this. <laughs> but if you are Joe Felix and you could get paid the same here and the same there, where would you go? If both clubs want you, where would you go? Because he could go to Manchester United. He could get the famous number seven shirt. Um, he could come to Arsenal and not get the seven because Saka wears it. But he's going to get paid the same and we're top of the table. They're obviously fourth in the league, joint third, I think. So where would you go? Obviously, Manchester United, I'm in no doubt. Manchester United is a bigger football club than Arsenal. So let's not kid ourselves here. But who has the better end of season between now and the end of the season? Arsenal are tracking, trying to go for a title. They're top of the table by five points, obviously, after Manchester City's win away to Chelsea. What would you do if you're in that position? Because me personally, and I'm not just saying this because I'm Arsenal, I would go to Arsenal. I would. I, I can understand where he fits in at both teams. Yeah, he walks straight into both teams, in my opinion. Because he walks in over Eddie and Ketia, and he walks in over Martial at the minute. Martial's been trashed this season. I can't lie. And I like Martial, but he's not been very good. So he walks in um, over both of them players. But if I'm him, yeah, I'm going to Arsenal. I am going to Arsenal. And um, why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he come to us? We're top of the table. We're flying high. We can offer the money. Uh, the style of play is obviously pretty decent at the moment. He'll have good players around him. A lot of Portuguese speakers as well. I know Manchester United have got that. But listen, don't underestimate how powerful that tool is. We've got a lot of Brazilians at this football club and they speak Portuguese. So that is a big draw as well, in my opinion. Yes, Man United have got a few. But we have got a lot, including our technical director, who's now a sporting director or something. I don't know what he is. Um, I know he sucks his daughter's toes, which is a bit random. Uh, but there we go. It is what it is, each to their own, I suppose. Uh, whatever floats his boat. Uh, but yeah, I'd be picking Arsenal. I think that we will get him as well. I genuinely believe we will get him. I don't think we're going to get Mudrik. I think Mudrik's just a pipe dream. And I think that Chelsea have put a spanner in the works. And I do think he'll end up at Chelsea. Who knows? If he does end up at Chelsea, the meltdown's going to be hilarious. I'm here for it. And there'll be more salty tears in my comments. Um, so it is what it is. But I do believe that if we're going to go out and spend that kind of money on Mudrik. I'd rather spend it on, on him because we need him more than we need a winger. Makes no sense. Uh, but there we go. Anyway, uh, I will be back again around midday, people. Make sure you smash the likes up on this video. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Uh, that would be fantastico. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the second channel as well. I, I want to get that up to 10K as quick as possible. It's already over seven. I appreciate all the love on that. Uh, I will be uploading later this month. I'm going to record the video this weekend as uh, soon as that channel is monetized. So go and spam, binge watch all of the vlogs because I need 2,000 hours to get it monetized. Um, so go and uh, go and check that out. And as uh, soon as that is monetized, I will be dropping the first video. And then I'm going to be doing regular updates. I did promise maybe every day. But thinking about it logically, it's not going to be an every day. So maybe every two or three days. Because obviously getting someone to edit the videos, they'll be at work, maybe at school, college, whatever. It's not going to be that easy to upload a video every day on that channel. But there will be 
regular updates at least two or two a week at least um so anyway go and sub to that and uh yeah i'm out of here make sure you uh thumbs up subscribe share leave your donations adios amigos laters <laughs>